All right, guys, welcome back for another video. Today we got a 1993 Ford Tempo, sweet ride. So I wanted to bring you along on this project. We are just buying this to flip. As you know, we had a two-door Cherokee. I ended up making $1,200 on that flip. So I pocketed eight and then I bought this for $400. We got the wheels done today. I didn't take you along on that process because we just did it. But what I did is these are actually like a rubberized cover over a steel wheel. So I cleaned everything off really well. I got in the hubs where the rust was, ground all that back use some rusty metal primer and then got them looking how you see them there again like i said we spent 400 dollars on this project it needed a battery so instead of buying one we're going to revive this battery so i'm going to flip you around and show you exactly how we're doing that all right so this is something that's a little unorthodox and a lot of people don't know about it but if you have a battery charger and some distilled water you can basically refurbish any car battery that you have you need something that has 200 amps just like this charger here you're going to peel the sticker off pull all these plugs out because what happens is sulfate and crud over time gets on the cells they don't charge well and then the water will evaporate in there so you can see i've filled the cells with distilled water just to about the top then what you're going to do is cycle it five times so you put it on 200 amps you're going to hook up the negative cable let it go on 200 amps for 15 minutes unplug it wait an hour and then repeat that process five times and if you look inside the cells while you are doing this you'll actually see the water start to bubble and boil and what it's doing is cleaning off the plates in your battery and we're going to have a brand new battery for about two bucks so the backstory, like I said, is I got this Ford Temple for $400, just rolling money that I used, flipping the Jeep, pocketed a profit, and then invested some of that money into another project. Now, this obviously isn't going to have the following or the resale value that that four-wheel drive Jeep did, but getting it for $400, it was an hour away from where I am, and I drove it home. So runs and drives really good. The interior is pretty clean. We'll get to that. This is probably going to be like a three-part video series on flipping this car, but you can see right here, we got some rust issues that we're going to fix right down here behind me i have the front bumper cover taken off that's cracked up so we'll get into some plastic welding we'll get over to the whiteboard and kind of explain you know materials that we bought cost and time i'm keeping track of all that as i do for all these flip projects and then at the end of the day hopefully we make a buck All right, guys, so we're skipping ahead a few days. We're back at you with the Ford Temple project. And as you can see, I got all of the main areas taped off. I just gotta go in and fill it back with paper because we're gonna rattle can this entire car with some Rust-Oleum 2X paint. And I'm gonna try to get a color as close to this as possible so that I don't have to do the door jams. One other thing that we did is this car was really super rusty in the wheel wells. You can see right back here, we actually got this one all filled in. Essentially, where the black was there was a complete rust hole, and then I had this bottom portion, there was still the metal there, so there's this giant gap, and I used that bottom metal kind of as a guide, knocked all the rust out, and then I tried something kind of controversial. I tried the expand foam thing I've seen on YouTube a million times, and I've just always wanted to try it and never had a car that I could actually try it on. This is a 400 hundred dollar car i cut out the rust first so i had an even bigger hole used the expand foam then i used a little bit of jb weld on the structural pieces like down in that corner and then i did body filler over it right now i'm just kind of sanding down and getting everything shaped like i said the hole was as big as that black area right there i'm just checking for low spots so that being said it actually looks pretty darn good you can see i still got some work to do you can kind of see the high and low spots on the camera there that's just a primer I'll bring you up here to the really crazy part and that's gonna be the front fender. 
This had a massive gaping hole in it as well. So we did the exact same thing, shaped it with our spray foam. Right now we got a little bit of glazing putty on there just to kind of get our final shape, but I'll flip you around so you can take a look at this. Real rough right now. So you can see here, we got just a really rough shape and then I was using the glazing putty to kind of find my high and low points, but the shape is coming together. Once this completely dries, it's still a little bit tacky right now. We'll be able to shape it, sand it down and then finalize that. Bring you over to the other side here and I'll show you what one of the wheel wells looks like. Same thing on the other side, had a big hole in it and I'll just show you what it looks like with just the body filler. We've only done the first rough part of the sanding. We haven't really attacked everything else. So let's flip you around and show you what that looks like. There's that, just some body filler all the way down. This one had a giant hole from that bottom corner by the lift all the way up and around. And then this was just where some paint was chipped. So I put a little spot putty in there just to kind of smooth it out. But where this filler is just a little bit under that was our hole. And then we used the expand a foam and yeah, it actually worked really well. All right guys, so like I said, this is probably gonna be a two part video. Next I'll show you the finalized bodywork as well as spraying the car. We'll probably get a time lapse, a couple different shots of that. And then we'll show you the finished product, of course. Before anyone freaks out in the comments, one, I'm not a body guy, I'm a mechanic. Two, I know the spray foam thing isn't the right way to fix a car. I just have always wanted to try it and I paid $400 for this car and I'm just trying to make it look a little bit nicer. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this part one video of the Ford Tempo Flip. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of right now, we have $400 into the car and about $75 in materials. So I think we're gonna have some room to make some money on this thing. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.